What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're going to go over my most recent video game pickups. And when I say recent that's kind of misleading a little bit because I haven't done one of these in quite a while so these uh, video games have been accumulated over the last I don't know two months or so. Um, I do have quite a few video games to go through here. I know I've got at least 60 video games to show you guys so I will be moving through this pretty quickly. I might stop every now and then if there's a game that I really want to say something about, but otherwise this is just a quick uh, pickups video or at least as quick as I can make it because like I said, I've got a bunch of games to show you. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get this started so we can fly through this stuff. Okay, that sucked too. What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're going to go over my most recent video game pickups. And when I say that it's a little bit misleading because I haven't filmed one of these in quite a while. Uh, so these are the game pickups probably over the last two months or so. Uh, I don't know for sure. I do have a bunch of games to show you. Uh, I know it's over 60. I'm not exactly sure how many. So I will be going through these pretty quickly. I will stop and talk about a few games here and there. But otherwise this is going to be just a, a quick overview on the games that I've picked up since the last pickups of video, uh, video. Uh, so yeah, I guess without further ado, let's get this started and I will show you some of the handheld stuff first. I usually start with Game Boy and stuff like that. So we've got a couple uh, loose uh, DS and 3DS games. So we have Mario Hoops 3 on 3. It's a game I've wanted for the DS for quite some time. Kind of sucks I got a cartridge only, but it's better than nothing. Um, for uh, 3DS, we have Mario Party Island Tour. I've come to realize that most of the Mario Party games just are not as fun on handhelds as they are on, say, like, you know, the GameCube or the Nintendo 64 or whatnot. Um, they just lose something playing them by yourself primarily. Uh, so we have uh, New, uh, New Yoshi's Island for 3DS. I honestly still haven't played this. I picked it up because it was on sale at GameStop.com, and, you know, I like Yoshi, so why not, right? All right, so moving on to some Game Boy games. Uh, we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure on Game Boy. We've got Race Driving, which is not a good game, but it's kind of like a technical uh, masterpiece, to be honest with you. If you get a chance to check this game out, it's pretty impressive on the Game Boy. We have George Foreman's KO Boxing. Animaniacs. We have Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Sports, which is fun. All right, pretty unique game on the Game Boy. I strongly suggest giving this a chance if you haven't. We have Mercenary Force. Really, really interesting game. We have Amazing Penguin, a game I don't see very often. We have Wizards and Warriors Fortress of Fear. We have NASCAR. I know there's like Bill Elliott's NASCAR or something like that, but it's NASCAR at the end of the day. We have uh, Quarth. Uh, Solomon's Club. Cat Trap. Yeah, so those are the uh, original Game Boy pickups that I've had over the last, like, you know, month or two or whatever it is, comes out to. I don't really know where to put these. We'll set them down on the ground for now. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the big box games that I bought. Both of these are Switch games. We have uh, Chicken Range on the Switch. Uh, this is still sealed. I probably won't never open this. Uh, the main reason why I bought this is I have, like... I love big box games, to be honest with you, and uh, this was on Amazon for like 14 bucks with free shipping, so I figured why not, but it can't be a good game, I'm sure. If you guys have played this, let me know. Is it any good? I'm pretty sure it's probably not. Um, and I finally picked up, because these have been going on sale everywhere, and I got this pretty cheap. We have the Mario Kart Live uh, Home Circuit, and I've got the uh, Luigi one here. 
I do plan on picking up the uh, Mario one as well at some point in time. You know, this is a gimmick game, but there is some fun to be had. It's kind of interesting. Uh, most of the fun I have is chasing my dog around with it, though. That's pretty hilarious. But yeah, I'm happy to add to the collection. Like I said, I, I didn't want to really pay $120 for this, but I think I paid $60 bucks for this brand new. So for that, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick it up. And like I said, there's some fun to be had. It's pretty shallow overall, but, you know, it's not a terrible experience. All right, so what's next? I guess let's go ahead and let's show some of these Xbox games next to get these out of the way. So these are the Xbox 360 games I picked up, and these aren't, you know, anything super special or whatnot. We have the Bully Scholar, uh, Scholarship Edition, which is a great game. If for whatever reason you haven't played this, definitely pick that up. Uh, and the rest of these, I picked these up for a dollar a piece. If I wouldn't have gotten them for a dollar a piece, I probably, you know, would have passed on a lot of these. But for a buck, I didn't have them, so why not? We have Connectimals. I'm actually weirdly fascinated with the Connect. Um, I kind of want to get all of the uh, Xbox 360 Connect games. Uh, there's actually some fun to be had in them. And like I said, I'm oddly um, attracted to these games for some reason. We have Connect Sports. I actually really like this one and the, uh, what is it, Sports Season 2 or whatnot. Lego Dimensions. Fable 2. Fable 3, looking kind of like Clint Eastwood. Fantastic fighting game series. We have Injustice Gods Among Us. Ultimate Edition. I love the I love these games. This one and the second one. We've got Minecraft Story Mode, which I have on so many systems. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I'm a pretty big fan of PopCap games in general, but these games are great. I love I love playing those. We've got Halo 4 and Pure. Like I said, for a buck a piece, I couldn't pass them up. I don't have very many Xbox or Xbox 360 games, so I'm definitely trying to pick those up, especially since they're so cheap. Uh, so I guess, like, keeping up with that theme, let's go ahead and go over the original Xbox games I picked up. Once again, nothing special here, but I got all of these for a dollar a piece. We have NFL 2K3. Triple Play 2002. NFL Fever 2002, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Platinum Hits version of Spider-Man, Top Spin, tennis game, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2, NHL Hits 2002, MVP Baseball 2005, NBA Live 2002, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003, and Halo 2. Like I said, you know, nothing special in, the, in those games, or the 360 games for that matter, um, except for Bully, that's a good game. But for a buck a piece, I'm going to pick those up all day long. Um, so yeah, moving right along, let's go ahead and let's show some PSP games next. Now all of these came from Video Games Monthly. I literally had hardly any PSP games until I, uh, you know, put in for to get them for uh, Video Games Monthly, and my, my collection's gotten a lot bigger because of that. Uh, we have... Neopets, Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing, which I've heard is actually a pretty decent game, or at least better than it should be. We've got Pro Evolution Soccer 2012, which actually looks fairly impressive from what I've seen online. Pixel Junk Monsters Deluxe, which is a great game. Untold Legends, Brotherhood of the Blade. And Wally. -E. Yeah, so I mean, nothing like groundbreaking or super spectacular, but 
you know, PSP games I don't have. And like I said, my collection was very, very small. So at least Video Games Monthly is helping me uh, build that up a little bit, I guess you could say. Uh, so moving right along, let's go ahead and let's start showing some Sega Dreamcast and some PlayStation 1 games. Not a lot here, so this should go pretty quick. We have Atari Anniversary Edition on the Dreamcast. Once again, these came from uh, Video Games Monthly. I didn't have very many uh, Dreamcast games, so this is a good way to build that collection up a little bit. And they've sent me some good games. Uh, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on Dreamcast. And the best game, we have Toy Commander, which is actually really, really fun. Very challenging, but it's really, really fun. And like I said, for uh, Video Games Monthly to send those three Dreamcast games to me, that's pretty cool. Uh, for the uh, original PlayStation, I picked two of these up because they were a dollar a piece, and the third one was something I've been looking for for a while. We have uh, Power Boat Racing, which I got for a buck. And we've got Blast Chamber, the 3D rotatable deathmatch. Don't know much about that game, but like I said, for a dollar, it was a game I didn't have, so I picked it up. And last, I did pay a little bit more for this, but it's a game I've been wanting for a while. Now, it's not a good game. I have more fun with it than most people do, apparently. We have The Simpsons Wrestling. I just like picking up odd games, and to me, this is just an odd game. I don't know who thought that this was a good idea to release back then, uh, but it's not really a wrestling game. It's more like just, you know, a standard fighting game. But I, I don't know. I enjoy it, probably because it's just so bad it's good. Um, it's not something I want to play a ton of, but every now and then it's fun to pop in and play. I really like The Simpsons, and I love wrestling, so I figured, why not pick that up for the collection? Alright, so, let's go ahead and let's show some GameCube games next, since they're right here. Uh, not nothing special here, but GameCube games are getting harder and harder to find, and I know I have over 250 GameCube games now, so they're definitely getting harder to find for me, at least if I don't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, we have FIFA, so FIFA Soccer 2003. NBA Live 06. Uh, somebody said this was the last release on the GameCube, but I can't really say it was or wasn't because I didn't look it up. But somebody in my comments section said that this was the last release. So let me know down in the comments if that's true. We have Ratatouille for the uh, GameCube. Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. We've got Bionicle, Intellivision Lives, and last up we've got Big Mother Truckers, which is way more fun than it has any right to be, but I love arcade style games, so I had a pretty good time with that one. Alright, so next up, since they're right here, let's show these PS4 games really quick. Not nothing like super spectacular here either, but we have like a dual pack, and once again, I'm a, I'm a sucker for big boxes. Uh, I had both of these games separately, but we have the uh, Quantic Dream Collection of Heavy Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls, uh, Detroit Become Human. So it's like three games, but one of the uh, one of the games has two games in it. But yeah, I, I don't know. I got this because I like the outer box. I know that might sound weird to some people, but, you know, there's no right or wrong way to collect, right? So yeah, this is a cool uh, to add to the collection. And it was cheap. I got it on at GameStop, I think. Uh, so next up, two uh, VR games. I love collecting physical PlayStation 4 VR games. Uh, so that's mostly what I pick up on the PS4 now. Um, but we have Blood and Truth which some people consider the best VR game released to, the, to date. Um, I still haven't played this, so I can't really give my opinions on it. But it's like an action game, shooting people, stuff like that. And uh, we have Trover Saves the Universe. So this is from the uh, creator of Rick and Morty, so I'm guessing it has that same kind of humor in it. I haven't played it, but still cool to add to the collection. Anytime I see uh, physical PlayStation VR games, I pick them up if I don't have them. Alright, so next up, let's go ahead and let's show some 3DS games real quick. Uh, I already showed a few earlier on, but those were the loose ones. Uh, we have Paddington Adventures in London. 
So that's a barn burner for sure. We've got Fire Emblem Warriors. Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. Super Mario, Mar Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. If I could learn how to talk. We have Shifting World on the 3DS. And last up, we have the Ultimate NES Remix on the 3DS. Such a good game. I like this on the Wii U better, but it's still fun on the 3DS. Definitely play this if you haven't. It's a great game. Alright, so next up, let's go ahead and let's show some uh, Switch games. Alright, so next, uh, first up, we have Tabletop Racing Nitro Edition. We've got... Um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We have Borderlands Legendary Collection. WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Which, I really like this. I like the car, uh, cartoony style wrestling games. Uh, obviously, this is an EA game, so there there's a lot of, like... I don't know, microtransactions and stuff like that. But if you're willing to grind, uh, you can have a lot of fun in this game. I actually really like it. We have Taxi Chaos, which reminds me a ton of Crazy Taxi. And I absolutely love Crazy Taxi, so this is quite a lot of fun and cheap. Uh, we have Mario Golf Super Rush. I like this game, but it's kind of boring, to be honest with you. But it's not a bad game by no means. And last up on the Switch, we had uh, Mario Odyssey. Interesting story, I had this game ever since, you know, it came out way back when. But somehow I lost it, or I have misplaced it. So I went ahead and bought another copy because I found a decent deal on it. And this is a great game. So I definitely want it in my collection. And if I lost it, then I wanted to pick it up again. And if I find the uh, other one, I can give it away or sell it or something like that. But Mario Odyssey great switch game maybe still my favorite switch game i'm not sure all right next up we have sega genesis so once again uh the genesis was a system that i didn't have a whole lot of games for so video games monthly i checked it off to start getting games from them and my collection has grown tremendously because of that but we have t2 uh terminator 2 judgment day the page master a lot of these games, I have the Super Nintendo versions too, but as I've mentioned several times, I like having both the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo version to try to compare the games. I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, we have FIFA International Soccer. Uh, we have Paperboy. Uh, Justice League Task Force. Uh, Super Thunderblade. The Humans. I still haven't really played this. I just recently got this out of uh, Video Games Monthly Box. But from what I can see, is this sort of like Lemmings? If so, I I'll enjoy this a lot. It looks like fun from what I've uh, seen online. We've got Sonic and Knuckles, which was a great game to get from Video Games Monthly. I think I still need Sonic 3, but then I'll have, like, pretty much all the uh, Sonic games from the 16-bit generation. Sorry, there's a bunch of them here, so I'm trying to go through this pretty quickly. Alright, so we have uh, the Mega Drive version. I didn't really realize that when I was unboxing it. And I don't really collect uh, games from overseas, so that was a little bit disappointing that I got that from Video Games Monthly. But we have Winter Olympics. Primal Rage. Williams Arcade Greatest Hits. Uh, the Adventures of Mighty Max. I remember playing with those play sets when I was a kid. Absolutely loved them. Uh, we have Desert Demolition, uh, which is basically a Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote game. I tried to play that. I couldn't really get into it, to be honest with you. Uh, we have Tasmania. 
Uh, Ariel, The Little Mermaid. Another game I tried and I absolutely hated this game. I really, really didn't like it at all. I like the NES uh, Little Mermaid game a lot better. Uh, we have Pit Fighter. Right? Yeah, Pit Fighter. This is actually really, really fun. Uh, this game sucks on most systems I've played it on. I didn't really like the arcade version of this game. But for some reason, I really like this on the Sega Genesis. So check it out if you get a chance. It's, it's way better than the Super Nintendo version. Uh, so we have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Amazing nostalgia with this game. It's a very shallow fighting game, but it I don't know. Maybe it's because I had it when I was a kid, but I have a lot of fun playing that. All right, so let me grab the rest of these Genesis games here. We have LHX Attack Chopper. We have Toys, which is based off a terrible movie, at least in my opinion. And this is a terrible game. I really do not like that game. We've got Vector Man 2, so now I've got both the Vector Man games for the Genesis. We have Zoop which is a very underrated, um, I don't know, puzzle game, I guess you could call it. Where in Time is Carmen San Diego? Spent a lot of time at school playing that on the computers. Fantastic game. We've got Strider, which was an early Genesis game that kind of showed what the system could do. A pretty good port from the uh, arcade. Uh, we have um, Asterix and the Great Rescue. Uh, this comic series is more popular overseas than it is here, but it's still cool to get a game based on it. And we got VR Troopers, which is another game I have a lot of nostalgia for. I really liked the TV show when I was a kid. So yeah, those are the Genesis games. Like I said, Video Games Monthly has done a lot of good sending me Genesis games. They've sent me a lot of games that I'm actually really, really happy to get. Uh, so yeah, I hope they continue doing that. Uh, so next up, let's go ahead. I guess we'll show Nintendo 64 next. Um, I've said it several times in my videos, but I, I think I'm, I was pretty close to begin with. I think I want to complete the set of Nintendo 64 games next. Uh, now, that's not to say that I'm going to do it anytime soon because there's still a bunch of expensive games I need. But that's probably the one I'm focusing on probably the most. With these games... I think I've got about 240 of the uh, Nintendo 64 games, so I don't really have too many more to go. Uh, so we have Arrow Fighters Assault. We've got Supercross 2000. Got some good Nintendo 64 games in here too. Uh, so we have Donald Duck Going Quackers. Cyber Tiger. Fighters Destiny 2. I've had the first one for quite a while, but the second one's a little bit harder to find and a little bit more expensive. Not super expensive, but probably more expensive than it should be. Let's just say that. Uh, we have Top Gear Overdrive. Really, really like the uh, Top Gear uh, racing games. Some people don't, but you know, I like them. We've got Space Invaders. Which is a lot of fun. It's just basically a modern take on the classic Space Invaders formula. But, I don't know, I had fun with this. It's a very shallow game, but, you know, it's fun for quick, uh, kick, uh, quick pick up and play experiences. We've got California Speed. Which is an absolutely amazing racing game. If you like arcade racing games, this is a game that you should definitely play. Uh, the arcade version is a lot better, but it plays well in the Nintendo 64. I've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, the steering is a little bit twitchy, but, you know, it's a fun game overall. Um, we've got Battlezone Rise of the Black Dogs, which is a little bit harder to find, a little bit more expensive than the other games in the series. We've got Charlie Blast Territory. This game doesn't get a lot of talk. Uh, people don't talk about it a lot, but this is a really, really fun game. So play this if you get a chance, especially if you like... You know, games that make you think, or like puzzle games and stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun. Alright, so we're almost done with Nintendo 64. I think we've got six more games here to show. We've got Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. At least I think that's how you say it. We have GT64, 
one of the many, many racing games on the system. We've got Our Marines Project Swarm. Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling. I actually was having a decent time with this game. Pretty archaic bowling experience, but still fun nonetheless. Uh, last two games here, we have Fighting Force 64. Which, uh, I don't know if it's ever been confirmed or not, but some people say that this was supposed to be a uh, Streets of Rage game. Uh, but it's it's a fun 3D beat-em-up game, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's definitely fun. I think, they're, I think it's on PlayStation 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, but last up for the Nintendo 64... A pretty uncommon game, a little bit pricey. We have Org Battle 64. So not the uh, easiest game to get. I'm not really the biggest fan of games like this, but I need it for the collection. And uh, it's an Atlas title. That's one of the reasons why it's collectible. But a lot of people really like this game. And uh, like I said, it's a little bit pricey. It's not one of the more expensive games on Nintendo 64, but you do have to open up your wallet a little bit to pick this one up. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, I'm happy to add those Nintendo 64 games uh, on my quest to complete in the uh, Nintendo 64 set. Alright, so next up, let's go ahead and show these uh, Super Nintendo games. I probably would have showed these before Nintendo 64, but I forgot they were set in there. Only got two games. Um, I haven't been picking up very many uh, Super Nintendo games at all. We have College Slam which plays like NBA Jam, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I really like that game. But the last Mortal Kombat game I needed for the system, it's a little bit ugly, but that's okay. We have Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on Super Nintendo. This one goes for a decent amount more than the uh, other Mortal Kombat games, and like I said, it's just the last one I needed. I really love the Mortal Kombat games. I have a lot of nostalgia for them, I guess you could say. All right, so the last system that we're showing today is the NES, my favorite console of all time. And I've got a pretty, uh, I've got a couple decent games in here that are a little bit harder to get your hands on. Uh, this is not one of those, though. We have Destination Earth Star. It's just a cheap game I thought I had, but I didn't, so I just picked it up. We've got, um, this one's a little bit uncommon, I guess you could call it. We have The Untouchables. Uh, we have uh, Mind Mindel Palace, I think is how you say that. It's another cheap game that I thought I had that I didn't. So when I realized that, I just picked it up. All right, so the last two games, these ones are a little bit pricey and harder to find. We have Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. This game's went up in price a lot lately. I remember when you could pick this game up for like 40 bucks. You can't really do that anymore. Um, but it's a fun game. I actually really like it. It's very, uh, still got that Famicom feel to it, you know, but it's a fun game nonetheless. So the uh, last game here is Frankenstein, The Monster Returns on NES. Another fairly pricey game. Uh, unfortunately, this one's not really worth the price. This is not a very good game, but it's a game I needed for my collection. Um, I like the artwork on the cartridge and just happy to get it finally. I found a decent deal on it. So yeah, those are the uh, NES games I've added to the collection. Um, I want to say my NES collection is right around 635 games now. So I'm definitely getting there for that system too. Uh, but yeah, that was my recent video games pickups over the last, I don't know, two months or so. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite games were that I picked up. Um, what have you been picking up? What are you collecting for? I would love to have a little conversation with you guys about video games because that's what I love. It's my main hobby. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's probably going to do it. But until next time, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, guys, I'm probably going to go play some of these video games, maybe open up some boxes, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.